Hi everyone, this is Nona from TheAlignLover.com. Today we're looking at casual looks for the dramatic classic. This casual look is still a little bit more polished, a little bit more tailored than what some people would consider casual, but that's because the dramatic classic is a more tailored, a more crisp, a more sleek kind of wardrobe and body type. Um, the dramatic classic has a lot of balance and harmony. They are classics, but they have that little undercurrent of yang that just begs for a little bit more of that structure, that tailoring, those edges, the vertical and diagonal lines. So you'll see a lot of those in the looks that I've put together or included in this little video. So here we have a few examples of some nice jeans and blouse looks for the dramatic classic. As you can see, all of them have tailored trim or sharp edges, whether it's from the shoulder details, just from the um, cut of the t-shirt or from an actual blazer or jacket. You also have clean, crisp edges. None of these edges are overly round, overly ornate, overly flowy. They're quite clean and you have strong vertical lines here with these skinny jeans. The skinny high waist jeans are a must in most dramatic classics wardrobes. I do believe it's just such a strong, clean, bold line, especially when you pick a wash that is more intense. Um, I would say stay away from too much, you know, faded, distressed, acid wash look on your jeans. If you're a dramatic classic, go for something a little bit more clean and saturated. So here we have some looks that really emphasize their strong shoulders. When you're a dramatic classic, you wanna really be friends. Shoulder emphasis, whether that's through shoulder pads, um, the cuts of the, the clothes and the fabric, um, the jackets, or, um, you know, any other detail that really brings attention and heightens and widens this beautiful shoulder line that you all have. So these shoulders are not overbearingly obnoxiously high and wide. They're not 80s power shoulders with overly artificial structure. They're, they're more subtle than that. They're still sleek looking. Um, you can achieve this with a blouse that has, you know, a little bit more shoulder support through the sleeve or through jackets. Dramatic classics look amazing in tailored jackets and blazers. So if you really, really want to look polished as a dramatic classic, definitely find a few, you know, pieces of outerwear that really, really complement a lot of your basic pieces. So these Photos here are a bit more of a breezy and airy look for dramatic classics. It doesn't have to all be, you know, dark and um, it doesn't have to always be a mix and match of colors. You can stick to, you know, the same kind of color family, but you want to stay tailored and crisp and clean if you're going to go for something a little airy and lighter and you want to pick fabrics that are a bit more matte that are a little bit more moderate weight so it doesn't look like you're dressing as like an angel um you also want waist definition through some sort of tucking in or through a belt a big bold belt or some other kind of tailoring to really bring that harmony to your outfit. You're a classic, you look great with waist emphasis always. You also want to make sure that your edges are clean and crisp. They don't always have to be, you know, super dramatic, super punging, um, but just make sure that they're quite clean. You don't want anything that really falls on itself. You don't want anything unstructured. You want to keep it nice and tailored and tapered to your figure. So these are great outfits for that. Jumpsuits are great for you if you can get one that really fits you well and it looks very accurate and sleek on you. 
it's amazing when you do find that. Um, dramatic classics look amazing and perfectly tailored jumpsuits. So for skirts, dramatic classic looks great in straight cut skirts that hit above the knee or at the very top. So the calves, it really extends that vertical line. You want to have a flat hip and upper thigh area. You don't want anything bulky in the area because you want that to stay sleek, especially because it's so close to your waistline. Um, slits are great, especially with the longer skirts, um, whether they're horizontal, sorry, diagonal or vertical. You just want a little bit of a slit and make sure to keep it clean. You don't want anything too roughly, too frilly, too flowy. Keep it nice and sleek. So for, you know, different types of tops, um, just make sure you have some sort of draping that's vertical or diagonal or both. You can do that through like narrow, high necks, bottlenecks, turtlenecks that have little cutouts or, you know, very long extensions of fabrics, long sleeves that really draw that vertical line. Um, you can also pull off mock neck sleeveless tops really well, especially when you pair them with a very clean skirt or the perfect pair of jeans. And you can play with some details like the last picture, you know, dramatic classic, as long as you keep your foundation clean and sleek, I say you can go ahead and play with more fun details as long as they're not overly delicate, overly frilly. Um, just keep them a bit larger, small, tiny, dainty little details just look very separate from you. So have fun, but have fun in a way that's friendly to you. So I hope those gives you that gives you a few, you know, jumping points to start thinking of some fun casual outfits. Um, you're gonna look polished more than say a soft natural or like a soft gamine, but embrace that. And you're lucky because most of the Pinterest boards entitled Parisian Chic are right up your alley. So I'll see y'all later and have a great day. Bye.